Oh, uh, Burning Dog fans. Uh, didn't hear you come in. Uh, huh. Welcome back to Let's Play Control. <laughs> We're in a very nondescript corridor because I was curious where that elevator led. Now I'm going to peek out this door and find out. A nondescript office! There's no lore in it. Do as you're told, don't eat mold, no. Probably a, uh... You know, not a good response, especially considering... Oh, this is the one room I've seen with no cameras in it. Rituals. Nope, nope. Come up with Emily Pope on the order of Casper Darling. Examination of paranatural topics. Tangible effect of rituals. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Hoarding. Anxiety disorders. While certain manifestations of these conditions are simply the result of mental illness, sometimes even individuals are simply performing ri uh, redacted called rituals. The redacted of rituals can vary. Numerology, dream logic, forfeiture, verbal formulae, repetitive action, and causal tethering are just some of the procedures involved. Some rituals are consistent, such as pulling the light switch cord three times to enter the motel, but some are erratic. Surely they should have er uh, redacted light switch cord and motel. Whatever. While most people engage in minor rituals every day, guilty, the vast majority do not understand the importance behind their actions. Avoiding disaster, amassing luck, or simply locating lost keys are all the results of daily rituals. Individuals who recognize a deeper meaning behind these compulsive actions are inherently aware of the paranatural world, and when located should be considered for employment at the Bureau. Refer, refer, eh, refer to file redacted for full report. Huh. Whose office is this? There's no name on it. And once again, all the clocks are frozen at 125. Maybe it's not wind. Maybe we're just hearing the tubes. You know, they have to be full of air in order to uh, move the things along. What the fuck is that? No, it's the same panel. Jeremy doesn't like elevators. They make him nervous, so he ceases to exist and you walk into one. There he is. I don't know. Personally, I feel like if you walk into an area like that, they should have had it, like, shapeshift into a bracelet you're wearing or something. That would have been cool. Just make it clear that it's always with you, you are bound to it, and you're not getting rid of it. Actually, I've been trying not very hard not to think about the fact that uh, the only way to get rid of some of these uh, artifacts might be to die. See, that one I saw. That was hard to miss. But it might just be because I was, you know, not talking about something. You know what I bet would function in here is a 90s style modem? I mean, come on, you're looking for something with weight in the collective unconscious. What is more iconic of the internet than a now massively obsolete and outdated sound effect that represents connecting to the internet? Okay, what else can we see in here? I don't want to go in there. Get out of the fucking coffee. Why is there coffee here? What? Oh. Again with the f- mm. I'm gonna find out what those mean, and it's gonna be something horrible. There's not even anything in the room, and they still sealed it up with gunk. Someday. Tch. 
I like that. That's funny. I bet... It's... It's his infested You can see the little clouds coming off of it. Well, not right now, but... There's some of them, that little shimmer there. Altered item number 52AE analysis, expecting it to be session missing. 2. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low-voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Oh boy. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale, from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Was anyone else expecting her to die horribly at the end of that? Hmm. Okay, I found it. Shout out to Torek00, who left a comment saying, I can really get behind a research job where you have to start at a blank slate with literally every item that gets brought in. I thrive in a job where, during my morning commute, I have no idea what I'll be doing right before leave. Uh... Also regarding the that's how you can tell she's a research comment, I remember when the Higgs boson was first detected. It was considered largely a disappointment because all the theories about its behavior were so spot on. A lot of physicists are hoping it'd do something weird and unexpected so they could scratch their heads over it. While I'm on the subject of giving shoutouts, I'd also like to give a shoutout to Kaleidoscope, who drew my attention to the fact that, that uh, one of the whiteboards we've seen was a reference, oh boy, to uh, an ARG remedy rand that I had no idea even existed. I'd never heard of this called This House of Dreams. It was a blog about a woman named Samantha who, uh, you know, was living up to her lifelong dream of buying and renovating a house, and she found a shoebox full of Thomas Zane's stuff in it. And that's when, you know, going through some of the lore for Alan Wake, I was reminded that, uh... Oh god, how do I explain this? Okay! Uh, I've mentioned that the Dark Presence likes to enhance, uh, actions of creativity and make them reality. Uh, the poet Thomas Zane was studying this, but while he was there at Cauldron Lake studying this, his girlfriend, uh, Barbara Jagger died under mysterious circumstances, drowned in the lake. You know, they leave it ambiguous whether she just, you know, didn't leave herself enough energy to get back, or whether the Dark Presence pulled her down. Either way, he was so grief-stricken that Zane tried to bring her back to life by writing a poem in which she was alive again. And the result was the body of Barbara Jagger, but instead of her soul, it was a piece of the Dark Presence. And he realized that instead of bringing the love of his life back to life, he had given literally the most evil entity I've ever encountered in a video game an avatar. So to make up for this, he submerged both of them in the lake, sealed them in the dark place, and, uh... erased all trace that either of them had ever existed using his writing. But he knew that he would need to leave some items... He somehow knew that he would need to leave a bunch of shit behind for, uh... for Alan in the future. This way to the lab? And he protected, okay. uh, these important like items. These HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the Hiss. 
he left these important items inside a shoebox that would be immune to the effects of other reality warpers. So no matter what happened between, you know, 1970 and 2010, uh, that shoebox remained exactly the same. And apparently he did such a good job with that particular alteration that the Bureau has discovered now that all shoeboxes are uh, immune to reality shifts. Man! The depth of the lore, Remedy writes. I don't like the fact that everything here is shut down. The HRA is made out of people or something? What is Darling's secret here? Oh, yes! Uh... What's this? Oh. I thought I would mention, because I thought this was interesting, that, uh... Yes, I mentioned the, uh... uh I was mistaken about something. Uh, my friend Ronan Drake pointed this out to me. Hey, shout out. Uh... What the hell? Those are the sparkles. Whatever. Um, the particle accelerator thing was not the Large Hedron Collider. It was the Large Hadron Collider, with an A. So it is not the same concept as the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. Over. I was half expecting to look up and there's like a giant tarantula on the ceiling who sells me mods. I don't know. Couldn't think of any actual purpose of this room. Maybe I get to come back when I find a goddamn flashlight. Aha! I really like, by the way, that it doesn't really matter where it lands. I saw something weird in the reflections on the floor. Oh, it's taped to the screen. I thought I was holding that. I'm like, where the fuck did I get that? Fuck. Not the right button. Uh-huh. Can I just push A and do nothing? Wait, what's wrong there? That's, that's what it looks like. Okay, first. Oldest house division. There's more than one division? Oh! I am missing a thing! Yeah, that line needs to be there. Crawl out. You let me hear? Any idea how to make it work? I was suddenly wondering what the shimmer equivalent of a shrug would be. I don't even know that Polaris has arms. Ooh. Black Rock Prisms. Oh, uh, compiled by Casper Darling for no one. Black Rock Prisms are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of Black Rock Prisms, uh... Sorry, just brain skipped a wire there. While well, the density of black rock prisms, uh, oh, that's why I was screwing around because it, you know, I was jumping down a line. Third time's the charm. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, 
the unique redacted structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range redacted to re redacted hertz with perfect redacted harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing a redacted through a harmonized prism onto a redacted. Methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto redacted, imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized resonance redacted in the prism, will be explored and explained. Refer to file redacted for full report. Honestly, I got nothing. Oh, you got an interface control. Fine, I'll just touch the thing. Too powerful for a use feedback loop. Why the fuck am I supposed to make it look like that? Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Oh, man. Aw, oh, hell, I need to figure out how they line up with numbers. So maybe that one, maybe he's figured out that that one is first. all the punch cards. Oh, sure. I can just pick them all up. Sure, sure. someone was carrying that, and then they turned into a hiss. Uh, configurations, can we affect this? I wish I could figure out what those symbols mean. That one's not even labeled. Yeah, if anything, this makes less sense to me than the other one. Wait, has he figured out that the second last one is that one? No, all, all the three in the middle are all the same. Okay. Great. Each punch card should yeah, I got that, but there aren't enough terminals. There isn't no one. There's three. There's five. Oh, no, here's one way off in the corner. Awesome. So this one goes first. That one and that one. It also doesn't go second, third, or uh, fifth. Okay. Let's look at the one upstairs real quick. These whiteboard drawings may be important. No shit. Uh, okay, the fourth one is the one that curls around like a snake. What the fuck is four? You can put the gun down, by the way. I've got the thing with me. One, two, three, so four is conspicuously missing. It should be about here. 
Looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. I get that you're meant to be dropping hints, but when I figured that part out from the word go, it's kind of annoying. Oh, fuck. Our way in. Changing variables too strong? If yeah, without one in the end, it leaks out. Does that mean they're interchangeable, or that he's got them backwards here? Well, I can try it that way. Where's two? Here's two. Uh, well, it's just a diamond in the corner. What do the symbols mean? I have absolutely no fucking idea. This is the fifth one? No, oh, this is the third one. So, the one that looks like an eyeball. And the fourth one, wherever that might be, is the one that's all black on one side. Except that it was a different one upstairs, and that's bothersome to me. But again, there's no fourth computer, unless I missed it in here. Ah, I did, I did. How did I not notice I could interact with that one? They mean Dr. Darling really needed a better, uh... And a better system to, uh... Sort his bullshit. That's what it means. And you must be five, because you're not on, so I'll just give you the other card that I have. Fuck. Okay. The timer did go. So, uh... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control. When we, uh, try, uh, some different things out. For starters, I'm going to swap those ones in two and three. Later.